What's up guys? This is Seth from Darkwater's Fly Shop. Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that I've been putting up. Uh, we've had a bunch of quarantine fly tying sessions and I have had a couple days out on the water. Um, so that's been cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed those videos. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you checking this out. Um, if you would subscribe and like the videos and I will have some affiliate links for these products inside the description of this video. And if you're going to go ahead and jump to Amazon or anything and um, purchase some of the products for these articulated shanks, I'd appreciate it if you'd click those links because I'll get a little bit of kickback from that. Um, and it helps me out a lot, especially in these times where everything else kind of seems to be shutting down uh, with the latest pandemic that's been going on. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump in. Alright guys, so I have a few different ways that I do articulated shanks. I do purchase some of my shanks um, from Flyman Fishing Company and different things like that. So I do use some store-bought shanks, but um, particularly for the longer shanks on my musky flies and my pike flies, I do make my own. As you can see, I will buy these in bulk from places like Flyman Fishing and such. But I do um, like to make my own, and the reason why is because on my predator flies, uh, they get a little bit bigger and I can control the amount of room that I have in the loop for the articulation. Some of you might make your own shanks with uh, jeweler's tools. This isn't a jeweler's tool, this is a multi-tool, but it's basically a pliers with a round, um, with round pliers on each of those so that you can bend those wires as you want. I'm gonna show you a quicker, more efficient, consistent way to do it. Check it out. All right, so on my table before me, you can see that I have a device that's called a Twist Tech. And um, you can go ahead, I couldn't find these on Amazon, so I couldn't give you an affiliate link for that, but you can go ahead and find those online. Unfortunately, they are a little bit pricey, so you're not gonna probably be able to find them under 100 bucks, and in some cases, I've seen them go as much as $150. However, I will say that for the time that you spend, if you're making a lot of articulated shanks, you can bang these things out really quick, and as you can see here, I'm getting really consistent lengths. Um, each time that I do it. And this tool is used for more than one purpose. You can actually, if you're into gear fishing as well, <clears throat> if you're into gear fishing as well, you can go ahead and use this to twist up other lures um, so that you can put like spinner blades and different things on them. You can get really, really creative with these things. And so I love this. Um, I feel like it's paid itself off very quickly because I do sell musky flies. Um, you can go to darkwatersflyshop.com and you can check some of those things out. Another advantage, is if I go and I show you here some of the purchased articulated shanks that I get from other companies, and I lay these things out here for you, you're gonna be able to notice very quickly by comparison the loops that are used on these other articulated shanks are quite a bit smaller. If I take these two loops and I hold this up so that you can look at the comparison in size, to these two loops, they're extremely small. And so when you're talking about tying bigger flies using bigger wire and getting more of an articulation in those shanks, making your own with this Twist Tech device is gonna help out quite a bit. All right, so the type of wire that I'm using here is um, American fishing wire, and this is called Toothproof. This is in size 11, this will come in a big spool, and this is the product that I do have an affiliate link for, so you can go ahead and check that out. What I do is um, I measure out three inches for these shanks right here that are probably comparable to your 20 millimeter shanks. I go ahead and I just measure out three inches on that shank, and I'll go ahead and I'll cut that with my wire cutters right here, um, with my multi-tool. Basically what's gonna take place is you have two ways to use this. You have this one which is gonna spin up um, like a hook onto a wire as you're gonna see as I describe this later in the video. Um, and then what's gonna happen is uh, this other tool here is going to create the loop 
on the wire itself. And so what I do, you can actually drill this down to a desk or a piece of wood or something. I don't just because it's a little bit more portable for me. What I do to get consistent on my wire is I will use this as a reference right here, the length of this wire. And I'll just hold it up there. And then what I do is I drop that wire in between there. And as you can see, I have the same amount of wire sticking out from this shaft right here as I do with the length of this shaft right here. It's just in my mind, it works very well and it creates things very consistent. So you pinch that there. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this around until I hit the other wire. And then I'm gonna push it in just a little bit more. All right, now that I have that bend in the wire, just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bend it in the other direction. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna lay it over the top and I'm gonna pin it right there, just like that. And I'm gonna push it back over. And so there, as you can see, I have my articulated wire. Now, when I put this in my vise and tie it down, that's gonna go ahead and just pinch that together so that you don't have nothing else to worry about. Now, for the other side, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this piece of wire, I'm gonna hold it out. As you can see again, I have the same amount of wire sticking out from here than I have from my shank there. I'm gonna wrap this thing around, put a little bit of a bend in it, flip it over, put this thing in, boom, and now we are done. And as you can see, I'm getting a consistent, uh, relatively consistent length in there. That one that I just did was a little bit longer. Uh, however, you can do these at different lengths. You can do these at whatever lengths you want and it's gonna come in really handy when it comes time to put your shanks. Again, this is American fishing wire. Um, this is in size 11, this is 140 pounds. And so when you get a lot of thread on there, like right now, you can see this wire, it does bend a little bit. Um, but when I get all my wire and all my materials on there, that hardly bends at all. I'll go ahead and we're gonna do that one more time for you guys so you can see it in action. And when you get into the flow of this, it goes really, really quick. All right, so I'll just go into like production mode on here and show you guys exactly how this works when I kind of get in the zone and I start putting these things together. This to me is a lot faster than using those jeweler tools. Your fingers have to work a lot less. And um, in the end of the day, you're gonna get a lot more consistent wire. So that probably, what did that take me? Like 30 seconds, something like that. I've got another one here that I started. I'll go ahead and finish this right now. takes you a couple to kind of get into the zone, but when you do, it goes really, really quick. Another reason why I like this form of articulated shank is these loops. I think I mentioned it earlier. The loops that you get out of this are really, really big. So there you go. I just banged out like four of those within the last couple minutes um, for you, and uh, it's been really quick. So I'm gonna show you one more use for this tool, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. One of the things that I love about this is the ability that you have to take your articulated shank and actually tie your hook in with the wire itself. As you can see, there's a bunch of twists right here on this wire um, that I'm able to uh, wrap up right there. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. If you take a hook, all right, so this is a Daiichi 4 -aught. If I take and I put this articulated shank through here, all right, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a new one just so that we can, we can start this from scratch. All right, so here's my length right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, put it in here. I am going to, um, I'm not gonna bend this one over the same way that I did that. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with that bend right there, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my hook through here just like that. So as you can see, my hook is, my articulated shank is through that hook. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hook right here on this articulated shank 
and I'm gonna put my hook drop down there. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna slide this in. And now the way this works is it goes all the way up. I'm gonna hold that taut so you can see it. It goes all the way up to another slot. And then what happens is I twist this around and it's drawing that wire in and as it's, it's putting it in and it's wrapping it all the way around that and you're gonna hear it click when it's done. You're gonna hear it pop. Right there, that little click. Now I draw this back out, I slide my hook off of there and now as you can see, I have tight wire wraps all the way around that and it's extremely consistent and there is no way that that is coming undone. So what I'll do is I'll actually cut this off of here when I go to tie my fly. I'll tie the back end of my fly all the way on this and then I will, but I will do this again and there is absolutely no way that, uh, that that wire is getting cut off of there. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for me. Again, one more time, it's uh, American fishing wire and that's in size 11, 140 pound wire. If you go ahead and click the affiliate link inside my comments, you're gonna go ahead and find this in big spools. I think they sell it in like 30, 40 and 50 foot sections. Um, the Twist Tech device right there for you. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you would like, subscribe, share the video and um, I will catch you on another one.